Hey, Phil here from radio.co and in this tutorial, I'm just going to give you an overview of the dashboard, what things are and what they do. So on the dashboard here, it's generally just your welcome screen for your radio station. You'll see this every time you log in and other users on your station will see a version of this, depending on what sort of level of access they have. Uh, and it, it really acts like a, uh, as I say, a welcome screen showing you how much storage space is being used, as you can see here, uh, how many listeners you have concurrently, so how many simultaneous listeners you have. Uh, and then down here, things like, you know, what's currently playing or previously played and what shows, what playlists, what live events you may have coming up throughout the day. Um, there's the most important thing arguably is whether your station is on air or not. Um, mine evidently is, as it says, on air. Nicely, nicely there. Uh, but there's a little button here, a little power button. And if you click on that, it does give you the ability to turn your station off completely. Now, the radio.co platform has been built to be entirely cloud-based and therefore automated 24 seven or, or, or rather automated as much as you would want it to. So um, yeah, as soon as you turn your station on air, it'll remain on air for as long as you need it to. Um, so as long as it displays the most important information there on air, safe to assume everything is broadcasting correctly. Um, a couple of things just to show you here is here on the top, the connection status. That is referring to live broadcasting, or rather, is there a host? Is there a DJ currently on air? Can people hear what someone is currently saying and doing? So it says not connected at the moment because I am personally not doing a live broadcast right now, which is evidently playing uh, yeah, uh, some uh, automated pre-recorded content, some journey here. But if I was to play journey live, uh, or I wanted to talk to my audience live, or everything I'm saying into the microphone right now, I wanted people to hear it live, uh, then I would need to be connected. And by connecting, all you're doing is you're confirming who's logged in, so which DJ has the ability to go live, and what piece of equipment they are going to be using. Um, and uh, in terms of, you know, whether it's a microphone, a headset, a mixing desk. And once the software knows what that information is, then you will then be connected and people can hear you. Um, I'll be doing a separate guide on, uh, you know, the basics of broadcasting live uh, later in this video series. But for now, that's just what it's referring to on the dashboard. Here in the middle, it's just giving you a countdown here of how long it is until you are going live. If you are a scheduled uh, host who's going to be doing a live show very shortly, this will just keep you updated on um, yeah when it is your time to start doing your show. And when there's nothing live, it will just tell you uh, you know sort of how long till the next show. Um, here is some, it uh, looks like a bit of complicated information here, the host port and password. That is really just for connecting radio.co to a number of external softwares, whether that is additional playout systems, DJ softwares, because you can use um, alternative means of broadcasting live or automation if you wish through radio.co. And usually they all connect through a specific set of server information like this. It's very much advanced level things like that. If you are just going to be broadcasting through radio.co in a very basic way, then yeah, it's probably nothing you'll ever need to concern yourself with. Um, and then finally here on the left, this is just various menus. And I'm going to spend uh, this tutorial series going through each one. But from here, um, yeah, your radio station is at your fingertips, giving you the ability to jump across to playlists, schedules, and the different ways people can listen. So that is a very, very basic introduction to the dashboard, the thing you'll probably see the most, well, certainly every time you log in. And for more tutorials like this, such as broadcasting live or scheduling events, then check out our help centre, help.radio.co, where you'll find them all there. Take care and happy broadcasting. Want to take your radio station to the next level? Well, here at Radio.co, we don't just specialise in launching new radio stations, but elevating existing ones too. For example, do you have an internet radio station that doesn't seem to be hitting that audience you want? Are you unsure whether the branding or the content you've created is right? Are there just too many industry buzzwords and equipment types that you can't get your head around? Allow me to offer my expertise. For just $50, you can schedule in a 50-minute consultation with me to go through every aspect of your station with the goal of refocusing and revitalising your efforts to mould it into something that you're truly happy with. Even if you don't have a radio station or podcast yet, but you'd you know like some guidance on how to get off to a strong start, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. Don't let stress and small audience numbers get you down. Get in touch via studio at radio.co and we'll put our heads together to turn this thing around.